Hello beautiful soul, welcome to you guys Timeless Pick a card, a Patreon special, okay? So yeah, welcome my love, this is a pick a card where we are going to take a look at how the universe sees you, we are also going to take a look at what they are advising you when it comes to, you know, the signs that they are giving you, you know, universe be vague. <laughs> That being said, I want to say thank you, thank you, gratitude moment. As always, welcome to my Patreon slash channel. If you are new here and if you are already familiar, then you know, crowns up, honey. Yes, okay. Thank you for commenting on the videos. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for being a part of this tribe, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so yeah, that's it. Now let's go to your file, my love. So for the first file, I also want to mention this is the cards that sh that are shuffled that came out so what the message they bring to you i don't know maybe you have connection with the goddess that you are seeing here on the table but maybe they are just bringing a message to you for what you need right now so please don't go by what you see go by what you feel or what is pulling you in you know in that kind of way use your own intuition use your own discernment okay according to this reading now let's go let's go to your piles so for the first pile you have Kuan Yin kindness nurturing I will give you guys 30 seconds later to focus on the cards. But for now, part two, you have Mualisa Balance. Yes. And I will tell you guys the stories of the god and goddesses. But for part three, you have Aditi, Expand Your Consciousness. Now, I will give you guys 30 seconds to breathe in, breathe out, choose your pile. And I will see the pile of piles that you have chosen. You will hear three high pitch notes just to oomph you up. Uh, yeah, and once again, because I, 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 did, it, I did it wrong, y'all. Yeah. I will see the piles of piles that you have chosen. Timestamps are down below. So, Pao Wan, you have chosen Kuan Yin with kindness and nurturing. Now, I don't know if you know about Kuan Yin, but I will read a little piece of her. So, you know, so if you don't know, then you know. So, let's see. Um, I'll put it like this so you can pause and read for yourself if you need a time. But I will read it now. Um, refill your inner cup, have compassion for yourself and others. Now there are names in it that honey, ha have, have compassion with me, okay? <laughs> uh, Buddhist Bohisattva of infinite compassion, Kuan Yin, pronounced Kuan Yin, okay, is worshipped in East Asia Buddhism as she who hears the cries of the world. Originally, a princess named Mao Shan, um, she was tyrannized by her father for re uh, reuniting luxury in favor of a simple life in a monastery. He ordered her execu execution, but at her death, a tiger appeared and placed a peach of immortality in her mouth. She rose into a divine realm and instantly transformed into a goddess, Quan Yin. Uh, into a goddess. Kuan Yin brings healing for the damage effect of patriarchy. Okay. Now, I don't know what your guys, your spiritual team wants you to know when it comes to that uh, message. But we will take a look at it. So, I will put this one like so. So, you know that is your pal. But let's take a look. Let's see now 
what the universe how the universe sees you but this is definitely maybe who you are that speaks to you the energy of Kuan Yin maybe you too are not that you know about the material life you be like simple life is everything or you see the beauty like the patriarchy life is not for you you see abundance in nature abundance in the freedom of life you know so let's take or maybe that's that's what you need <laughs> but let's take a look let's see how the universe sees you i ask my guides your guides all that has the best interest for us to let us know how the universe this is too much how the universe sees power one so you have the ace of source my love together with the world honey your freedom <laughs> so you have a beautiful mind i will not take these cards in reverse you also have the hanged man you see things different you different honey if somebody like you you may be my kind of a person like freedom is everything because really you have like really the cards that says let me go out and do me let me go out and do me i don't see life as you know other people see it looking at at the the hangman together with kwan yin is really giving me the energy of seeing life totally different like kwan yin's father just because she wanted to kumbaya her life in in a, a monastery you know he 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 kind of will be like no that's not your job so let me let me chop your head off that that ain't it yeah <laughs> that ain't it um you also have the five of pentacles you maybe feel often left out you know you may be feeling different everybody may have their own community and stuff and doing their own thing and you'll be like i don't fit in kind of a vibe you also have the ten of cups underneath the deck honey there it seems like universe has a plan for you and i don't know um if you are ready for the plan but they kind of already have something of hey i know it's tough on you right now and you feel maybe as if why is the world this ugly <laughs> is what i'm getting meanwhile the world isn't ugly it's just a different perspective but you guys your spiritual team you know the universe will be like okay we need people like you that sees us differently you know so do not feel as if you are an ostrich in the world kind of a way because there are people like you there are they exist i'm one of them <laughs> i am one of them i love it i love it that i'm different i love it that i choose freedom instead of you know and listen choosing freedom looking at the ace of pentacles doesn't mean that you don't need the coins or that you don't like beautiful things or that you don't like investment that you don't like um um intangible um, stuff because hey hello if you want to buy that acre and kumbaya you your yourself let me say it nicely on on that acre of yours planting seeds and stuff yes you need money to buy it yes uh, we are yet still living in a patriarchy world okay looking at Kuan yin so really it's given that you you the universe like the fact that you know how to be abundant looking at the queen of pentacles but also fruitful in the abundance that you are looking for and i'm saying the abundance that you are looking for because this seed or this pentacle whatever it is that you plant you multiply you can you can get it and even if it is that acre of land that you want to come by yourself or it is that travel to long distance thingies that you want you know do not do not be afraid of what you need to get what you want okay because maybe you are you are like really seeing two different world like oh i have to work my ass off to get money no there are other ways there are other ways that you can uh, get extra income so that you can live the way you want to live that freedom life of yours and here's the thing you you have the ideas now <laughs> you have them okay because honey your guys your spiritual team constantly are in communicating with you 
you have a kind of a mind that you have great ideas okay so i'm really seeing that yes you may see the world different yes you want to go out live in the world because you have two queens also the queen of wands the queen of uh, pentacles you know but maybe oh you also have the king of cups honey that's a beautiful king to have <laughs> so really nicely in balance you know which your yin and your yang but what i was trying to say the only card that that is giving me that this is something that sometimes it's giving that you don't belong but also that you don't have for some of you it feels maybe that you don't have um the 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 money for you to live the way you wish to live and you guys your spiritual team is saying looking at the ace of swords honey the ideas is money the way the way you see the world like yes we love it that you like to be free and all of that and you want to live out your passion but if you think that money is the problem of the world you are also neglecting money you are also saying no to money meanwhile for your wishes your dreams you may need that money okay so money is not the problem um it's the people that that has the uh, the money you know what they do with it and and it is a dance of life is what i'm getting that everybody he is here to play a certain role in life like going back to Kuan Yin her role in life according to her father was being a princess and and enjoying the luxury of life and doing her princess uh, royal duties but she was like no I decline all of that I just want a kumbaya and that is her choice of life now you see the contrast of i want to give all my goals and all the ding things that i have away for me to live the simple life meanwhile the father is saying no this is the, this is this you know so it's two different world but she came into this world with the the thing that that other people be like give me give me please and she was like, ah, I choose not to have this. And meanwhile, other people maybe have come into this world with, with the way she wishes to live. And they'd be like, ah, I choose to live that. So you see, looking at the King of Cups, how there is a balance, okay? There is a balance in life of um, what the... The, what someone wants and what someone don't want wants but the biggest the biggest lesson in this is that it is not for you to decide on another person what they should do or what you want them to do of course <laughs> if you are a parent and your child is yet still young yes you, you you may say you know you may have a say in this situation but once you come to realize that that child has a say for its own body then really recognize that your saying um isn't what they feel or what they need do not be offended or do, uh, um, let other people you know um, disturb your peace of what you want in life that is also a thing so let's see what it is that you need to know more um, how the universe sees you you have to the sea honey uh, my tummy is an extra at this point in all of my readings so <laughs> don't worry if you hear it okay you also have higher power honey let me tell you the universe sees you beautifully okay beautifully but they know where they want to take you and that's the easy life looking at to the sea it's the easy life because she ain't, ain't got nothing to row she's just going with the flow now here's the thing sometimes that situation can be boring <laughs> you'll be like okay what do i do because the world is be like on fast mode and you telling me i have to go with my dharma like really going with the flow that doesn't match with what the world actually wants from me you guys your spiritual team is saying like honey we know the direction you are going we know where we want to take you so please whatever happens in your life if you be like feeling left out or if you feel like you don't fit in you know um 
your guides, your spiritual team wants to take you to your heart desire. And that really is um, that freedom that is actually yours to have. Okay. Um, here's the thing. But you need to understand that you need certain things or certain people to help you, even though they are people that are not how you that are not in alignment with you let me let me give you an example um you see this 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 card right here the five of pentacles maybe she be like no i don't like people that goes to church maybe she have a bad example with people that has a religion doesn't matter which religion that is you know so she be like no i do i do not want to go in in that place ever again but what if in that place is the help that she needs now she be walking here very cold and stuff and declining it because she doesn't fit in with people that has a religion but what if you go in or what if you meet somebody that has a religion are you going to decline them are you going to be stubborn because you want them to act and do your way because they don't see the world like you do that's the thing that you are actually wanting. And that's the thing that the universe sees also in you. And we're going to Kuan Yin once again. So it's really giving that you, I know that you guys have a very free mind kind of a, uh, um, kind of a, you guys are free mind person. I know that for sure, sure. But sometimes we can be, we can be stubborn. We all can be. There, there is something that isn't working for you, you know? So, <sighs> what I'm trying to say is, and I'm talking about religion, but it can be everything in your in, in your case. Maybe you have a situation with your family and stuff, and, and, and now uh, somebody in your family that, 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 you know, that knows how to build a house or something, you know, is, is kind of like somebody that can help you, but because you have a fight with them or because they don't see eye to eye to what how you live and stuff, you are afraid to ask them for help. Now, listen, asking for help and getting help is, is a normal thing, okay? Asking for help and being declined, don't listen to the tummy, is also actually a blessing, but people don't see that. You see, here's the thing. Like, for example, if you maybe have somebody in the family and, and you don't match with the family and you'll be like, you know what, I'm going to ask that person alone. Uh, I'm going one on one and talk to them if they can help me with this and this and that. Now, they can say no. And the way you feel about that no may be like, oh, you see, that is why I don't mess with the family. Actually see it as oh okay thank you thank you then i will uh, i will go further but thank you you know because how you react is actually also giving them um um also a proof not a proof but how they can be like oh you see you are always like no like it's okay if somebody can say no because that person's heart is not at, at at that place to give you a well job on the thing that you are asking just imagine they say yes but they be like actually i don't want to help her like she this and she that or he this or he that and now they do what you are asking for them to that energy of them being actually grumpy or thinking that you are all this all that that is affecting what they are doing also so really do not, when people say no, say thank you actually because they are helping you not to make a mistake of putting an energy that you don't want in your gift and craft. You also have an Anna Godmother of Jesus uh, sitting the light, uh, laying, laying foundation, divine plan. Honey, I've been seeing it on the table the whole time that you have ideas that, that you need to do, that you need to um um, how do you say that like um, work on you know because honey you have the ace of swords and also looking at higher power com the communication is totally with you but um, your guys your spiritual team also wants to let you know that 
hello we see you as a beautiful queen or a beautiful king that can manifest and create everything that you want and that the vision that you have the vision that they have actually given you that it's okay to execute it but you need to understand also what needs to be done for you to execute it what fear you need to let go to execute it okay because you can you you can be you can be the universe uh, greatest um um creature walking around that they be like oh yes power one my love that one is always on point when we give them a message and they have beautiful vision that they can you know um um, um make reality but honey if you are a fearful of what you need to do what you need to do it doesn't match it doesn't work you know for example you you would like to travel you would like to travel and you'd be like no i'm not fearful of money but i'm gonna um i want to travel the world so i'm gonna save up and i'm gonna do this solo travel but you are fearful for being alone or you don't want to be alone there is something that the universe has put next to the next to your dream and vision that you are seeing actually as a challenge or as a fear and this is all for you to realize that everything is connected good and bad yin and yang there is a balance of life like wealthy and 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 people that want wealth and people that don't want wealth but even the people that don't want wealth need wealth to get to where they are you know that kind of vibe there is a contrast in 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 whatever that it is that your guys your spiritual team is giving to you you know and they'll be like yes this i love it for you this is we are seeing you as somebody that can reach your dreams and vision and all of that but we also have put a challenge on on you <laughs> that makes it more exciting <laughs> but yeah you know that's funny that's how universe works okay this is giving right now stay in the present and don't get too far ahead of the flow hey to the sea you soon trust that nothing more will come than be handled each moment okay right now now you also have love divine source is the idea that no person place or a thing is your salvation only love itself like this is how the universe sees you my love you are a beautiful person they like really they don't see i don't see nothing negative only the challenge of of the contrast that you need to battle but th they see also looking at the ace of pentacles that because both of them is actually here so it's really giving that you need to understand that you need to get out of your comfortable zone to to plant this seed whatever seed of idea because you have the ace of swords and the ace of pentacles that they are giving you but for the rest you are very passionate you are very fruitful you are very imbalanced you know you are a beautiful person they are seeing you as really enlightened you your third eye looking at higher power is very enlightened sometimes you may find life boring because you know it's not giving what you need especially the corporate life but your guys your spiritual team is saying hey you know just live in the moment looking at the right now just live in the moment and everything will be all right now let me give you a last message for you when it comes to the universe let's see i will have to look uh in the book you have um sattva I will read this one also for you one moment sattva is ayurvedic and it talks about purity and clarity let me put it like this so so it says you have 
You have let go of things that were holding you back and are reaching deeper levels of clarity. Maybe you've cleaned up your diet, home, self-care products, relationship, thoughts, parents, career goals or life outlook and are now experiencing the joy that comes with purity of sattva. The space you have created is allowing greater gifts that are more aligned with your truth to present self, present themselves, pr- to present themselves, my bad, sorry. Continue on this path towards clarity by sharing all that is no longer serving you. Oh my God, honey, this is totally your message. When your body becomes pure, your thoughts and life will reflect that. Bring sattva purity into all that you, in all that you do, and your path will continue to become more clear. So this is the message. Yes, of sattva, honey, totally you. Your guys' your spiritual team is on point. I want to thank you, my love. Thank you for being here. Uh, and also, yeah, thank you for listening to your message. Thank you. I don't know, but I just want to thank you for being here. You are a beautiful soul and I'm seeing it in your cards. And I don't know what your challenges are, you know, what you are releasing, what you are doing. But if you want to share, comment down below. Uh, let your tribe also know uh, that hey which part you have chosen by putting love emojis or something with love maybe hearts and stuff so that everyone that chooses your pal knows that hey hey we 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 vibing on the same vibe y'all so yeah my love thank you for your time and i will see you in another reading of mine or in another pal bye so pal 2 you have chosen mua lisa balance as your pal let's take a look let's see what it says when it comes to mua lisa um let's see Mm-mm-mm. yes okay mua lisa balance center your energy seek harmony and cooperation now mua lisa is a supreme being with or origins in the ancient West African kingdom of Dahomey and is either male is either neither male nor female. The Homein legend says that in the beginning of everything there was Mualisa who had two faces. Mua, a woman, is the female side of God and her eyes are the moon. Lisa is the male side of God and his, eye, and his eyes are the sun. The, oof, child, they're challenging me on this one. The androgynous, <laughs> the androgynous deity reminds us that balance is the central principle of the universe. I will put it like this so you can pause and read it yourself. So yeah, that is Mua Lisa, my love. Um, it's giving me the that for you, uh, the universe might have challenged you with the balance of your yin and your yang or uh, the yin of yang of your surrounding the life that you are living in knowing that everything is balanced um, i'm really getting that for some of you maybe um, when it comes to the full moon you might stay awake or you cannot sleep or for some of you i'm also seeing that when the when there is an eclipse you might have uh, it might affect you very strong especially if you know your chart you know so yeah let's take a look let's see um how the universe sees you my love i ask my guides your guides all it has the best interest for us home to none to let us know how the universe sees pal two beautiful pal two let's see okay you have the judgment card you have the ace of cups and you also have the two of pentacles let's see how the universe sees you 
you also have the king of wands very passionately and the two of pentacles is giving the balance you know the balance that we've been talking about with Mua Lisa you also have the eight of cups wow nice I like that I like that so underneath the deck you have the emperor so let's see okay you have the seven of wands it i will not take this in reverse you have the seven of pentacles and you have the broom mm. the broom was the dead card i believe yes it is the dead card so yeah now listen <laughs> i'm smiling because honey the universe be like oh, we like the spiciness of yours <laughs> we like the spiciness of yours and what do i mean with that is because if something isn't who you are or doesn't work for you you are not afraid to be like that isn't that isn't working for me anymore deuces not deuces as in okay you are quick to f to give up no not not like that if if you are done with the passion if it's something that you be like hey it isn't fulfilling i'm i'm not happy it isn't matching my vibe anymore you are good to go it's okay I, like really because you are not a quitter that is not what they are saying. Absolutely not. Do you know why? Because you are a person that invests your time in things that grows. And if you come to realize like, oh, honey, what you are doing is not working. You'll be like, okay, then it's, it's time for me to go. It's time because it isn't fulfilling me anymore. And for the seven of pentacles is something that you are putting lots of time in for nurturing and taking care of whatever seed you have planted and if it isn't fulfilling you or if it's something that isn't willing to grow you'll be like no but here's the thing even if for example in the environment challenges may come you know you 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 are working on to something and challenge may come you are okay you are okay with be, being like okay i see my wrong i see that i have been doing this wrong and you are willing to work on it so when i say that you will you are sassy and you you say deuces if something isn't working for you i'm not saying that you are bibbidi babbidi boo quick to say goodbye absolutely not you just know the value of your time and that's the thing that's the thing you 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 are you be like okay if it isn't working i am not continue trying to revive something that is dead something that isn't for me anymore to have judgment card you have judgment card and the dead card both of them like in opposition like this you know it's really giving this higher canon it's really giving like you know when it's time to be like okay let go let go and the thing is what i'm seeing for you what the universe sees in you is you have full of love but you know yourself first you are not over giving your love you are giving whatever falls out of your cup but you really love yourself first and if you be like nah i'm lacking in that actually honey try to do that because this is something that is really going to make life simpler for you and especially do not um, take it as offensive when people come towards you it's a time of learning is what i'm getting if people don't see things how you see it you know you can then see it like oh okay what is the problem how do you see it then see it as their vision instead of yours only you know because maybe you've been brought up a certain way that doesn't mean that everybody been brought up in that way everybody has a challenge in life everybody is different in life you know and we need to come together to find out what is working for you and what is working for them and if it fits you or it fits 
uh, or it doesn't fit them what you are thinking but i do see that because of the love that you have of yourself and if it's not that case try to do that you don't feel offended you don't feel offended when somebody points your mistake out because you'll be like oh wow thank you thank you for letting me know so i can work on myself only if it is valid though only if it's valid because going back to the eight of cups if somebody tells you oh no i don't find you this i don't find you that and it doesn't match with who you are because you are true to yourself first you'll be like okay thank you thank you i see that thank you that's your point of view i respect that N then i know where my place is and you'll be, be like okay deuces i will go where i can be happier i will go where people are appreciating of my investment you are not you are not shy to 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 be like okay time to time to make space for new okay and that is why you guys your spiritual team is really looking up to you like yes yes the, you know life isn't for you to um cut people off or feel offended it's a lesson life is a lesson but it's the first lesson of what does your spirit want what makes your spirit happy you know and where can you fix your spirit where can you heal stuff that you thought was normal that isn't normal you know in that kind of a way so let's see what it is that you need to know more with how the universe sees you you have TikTok. I'm telling you, you are not the one to waste your time. I said it like, you know, like really, if it isn't working, thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> I like that about you. I really do. And looking at the time, it's really giving me Moa Lisa also because Moa Lisa is about time. You have uh, it's balance. You have a certain time of a day and you have a certain time of the night. Everything is in balance and, and you are not the one to to, you know, go against what isn't fitting for you, you know. So really, you are very mm, with your time. I like that. You also have orphaned. You might feel a little bit, um, you know, not fitting in looking at the seven of wands also that you be like, OK, the way I see life, it seems like not everybody sees it that way. Or maybe people think um, that you are not, that you are somebody that's very driven and you are going from this to that to this to that. And they don't understand you. Meanwhile, it's, it's you are going, you are doing what you need to do, you know. You are you are not holding like for, for other people. Maybe they'll be like, oh, you need to be stuck on this position that is lots of people have that that they be like oh no i'm here um uh, what do you do for a living i am a i'm a doctor or i'm a nurse or that they live life according to the label that they have and that label is the label that they need to wear for you know when they say like you need to work till your 60 or 70 something before you have your pension so people will be like oh yes i have when when it comes to the career that they have they can they they are very proud to say yes i've been working at that job for 30 something years 40 something years and actually it is something to be proud of because hello you know <laughs> nowadays you know but you maybe be like okay I am not happy here, losers. I'm going to go to another job or I am not happy being this title. I'm going to go study and do that, you know. So you are not sticking to, you know, what you need to do for a long time, maybe for other people. But for you, it's like, hey, I have so many talent, so many talents. I mean, let me spread it to the world <laughs> you know looking at the at the um king of wands lots of passion and you may share it you don't have to stay stuck on certain things so yes oftentimes you will be you coming into a school where you are the you are maybe a different different ethnicity different background different than the, the 
or because you come in later you know you are you are often an ostrich before you become familiar and once it's familiar you are out to move again maybe when you were a child your your parents moved a lot or maybe you come in to work every time you are the one like you come into a new job and then another job like you don't stick around too long so people don't get to know you well so often it feels like okay <laughs> that that goes part two once again you know so it feels like you are alone sometimes in this world or you just feel as in how you are you know people not many people are doing what you are doing for some of you maybe you are a creator or something like that like you work for yourself because i really see that um you are you are out on your own you are really out on your own you are different and other people be like why you are not fitting in with the schedule. So you also have Lemuria creating heaven on earth. It's happening. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> that's you. Living a lovely free life. If it isn't happy, if it isn't make me happy, why stick with it, you know? Make space for something that will be happy, where you will feel great. So you also have courage. Let, uh, let me be open to courageously take the step that are shown. Yep, it really is you. This is really is you, my love. And I like that. You know why? Because the mundane life is boring. And this is the, uh, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe people will often say you have HDHD. Maybe you've been diagnosed with that symptom. W meanwhile, it's just your spirit. <laughs> it's just your spirit living life. Because y if people often, because I'm really getting like, people often want a certain title to, yes, so that they can understand the other person. And as I said, HDHD, that is a title that people put on people that are exciting or have lots of energy and are from this to that, you know? And people have started to embrace in, every t every t in everything. They are starting to embrace the titles of life as a brand. You know, oh, I am an, I, I have HDHD. Oh no, yeah, you know, I am the doctor. Oh no, I am an, I am a, I am a politician. You know, so and so they don't recognize that they are not that title. They are more to that, or that title has a reason that it's there. That fire that you wanna be here, there, do this. You you start something, you quit, you do this, you that. It has a reason, you know. So. But what I was wanting to say, like people want or need, some people need that title so they can put you in a certain box and recognize you as that because then they have the understanding of why you are like that. You know, meanwhile, we are just living. We are just living love. So, you know, we TikTok, like this time on earth is so minuscule. Do you think you have to wear just one hat? Just one hat? Meanwhile, the universe be bombarding you, if that is even a word, is giving you lots of ideas what you can do in this life. And you think you can only do one thing? That ain't you, my love. And that is what the universe sees in you. That, hey, we have given you lots of hats to wear. And we love it that you are passionate and that you are doing what you need to do. You have the courage to go and do what you need to do. Because you know that it's a, just a limited time that you have here on earth. And why not spread your love, spread your creativity with the world. And if some people don't understand it, then they don't. But, hey that is your abundance that's how you create your world that's the thing that you want to you know uh, nurture and take care of that is your time here on earth that the universe has given to you how you want to do it and listen because i'm really getting also that even even that energy that you have now 
may be maybe a limited of time you know because who you are now maybe in 10 years time it will change and i'm saying that meanwhile i know i did say to you guys that when there is an eclipse maybe it will affect you a lot i don't know if you guys are a vedic follower a vedic astrology follower but mm, maybe you already know i am i i look at vedic i i was i started with tropical and then i wanted to have more so i went into vedic i'm, I'm very happy i did and not only that i go outside i look up where the where the sun really is or where the planets really are and in that way i do what i do you know and so yes the 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 mo modern world is pointing at this meanwhile it is totally different and vedic astrology is really looking at where the planets really are so that is why i also liked it um but not to say that tropical is wrong absolutely not because i started with tropical so we are not going to bash tropical because it was my beginning of my astrology journey a long time ago but so i yet still respect it okay so that being said, the reason I'm mentioning Vedic astrology is because in Vedic astrology, you have something that is called your, um, now I lost the name, where there is a period of time that a certain planet is ruling in your chart. And then you will recognize that for certain people, when a certain planet has stopped, um, have stopped because it's not like, one year or something because a rahu for example is 18 years long that rahu will rules in your chart so every time you have an eclipse you then uh, may feel a certain way and then they have a sub planet that rules in a certain month together with with the rahu for example and then also honey it's uh, it's deep it's deep okay so the reason why i'm saying this to you is that so yes 18 years long a certain planet may have or um, shadow planet may have ruled in your chart and then boom 18 years later you'll be like no i don't like that thing that i've done i'm i'm, I'm now this thing you know so you see often people like you know when people be like okay i'm suddenly became vegetarian or i suddenly start becoming spiritual you know or i sudden suddenly have started something meanwhile you'll be like ah yesterday or a few years ago that person was totally different now you're telling me that he should eat as a monk <laughs> and and then and then 20 years later that monk decide no i'm now i'm going back into the wildlife so and that's the thing with you your guys your spiritual team the universe is seeing like you at least recognize that everything has a time to shine in your life you are not holding on to a on one certain thing because you know that everything life changes and that is the thing that they like about you that you you recognize um the the possibilities that they have they are giving to you and that you are not sticking with just one thing so yeah let's see what you need to know this is the message i will read it for you you have buddhi so let's see let me take a look so yeah you have buddhi buddhi talks about uh, spirituality buddhi inner wisdom intellect so it says wise one you are now remembering what you were born with all the answer that you are seeking you have realized life is not about learning but rather relearning letting go of the illusions so we can remember our intimate solution you have silenced the chattering of the mind to allow the whispering in the soul to speak and are now beginning the beginning to truly read the vast textbook that exists inside you this is the time to rewrite your story uh, outward by greater wisdom of your soul buddhi honey this is so what we were talking about don't don't like don't look at the 
commercial and stuff, but that's that's you, booty. Oh, in reverse, you have this. So yeah, this is so you. This is this is really what we've been talking. I I really like it because for all the uh, for the other piles also it really matches the reading, you know. So really, I really love this one for you, my love. If you also have loved this, put a clock in the comments. That's so that your tribe that also have chosen this pile will know that you guys are in the same alignment, my love. So yeah, I thank you for your time. Thank you for being here with me. Thank you for being a Patreon. Yes, thank you. You know, and I will see you or in another pile or in another reading of mine. Bye-bye. So, pile three, you have chosen Aditi, Expand Your Consciousness, as your pile. Let's take a look. Let's see um, who this goddess is and what message it brings. Now, you may think it doesn't match, but the other piles, all of them, it matches. Here, you can pause it to read for yourself. Okay, now let's read it together. So Aditi, expand your consciousness. Okay, see the bigger picture. The universe is opening you up. Mother of endless universe, Aditi, is the primordial Hindu goddess who appears often in the Vedas, the earliest Hindu scriptures. Her name means limitless. Oh, I love it. Or boundless. Ooh love it too <laughs> in, in, sang, in Sanskrit Aditi is the source of all who give birth to the entire cosmos including all the gods and goddesses as a celestial mother she sometimes represents as a secret cow nurturing everything on earth with her milk also known as mother space she symbolizes the infinite freedom oh I love her <laughs> divine order and cosmic connection honey yes and you know what's funny there is also an Af african goddess that is really the same as her so that is why i was reading and i'll be like a familiar and i love it i love it okay so let me know if you have your um if you know other goddesses that has the same vibe or uh, as her now we love it. We love it. We love it. Okay, let's see. I will put Aditi here with full respect. Oh, that is my notebook. So I see <laughs> which which reading I already done. So yeah, um, Aditi, expand your consciousness. Okay, let's take a look. Let's see. I ask my guides, your guides, all that has the best interest for us, harm to none, to let us know how the universe sees you, my love. But I see you already beautiful because, hey, or the, uh, Aditi is here to teach you of how to expand yourself. But hey, Ten of Cups, Ten of Cups. I will now take these cards in reverse. You also have the Knight of Swords. Let's see how the universe sees you, my love. Uh, you have the Ten of Pentacles, Ten Ten, together with the uh, Chariot. Okay, I like this. I like this. Let's see. You also have the Three of Swords. Honey, I'm seeing already you are all over the place. You have the Page of Cups. And I'm seeing all over the place, not in a bad way, but more as in the experiencer of life, you know? Let's see. Two more, please. Two. Okay, the Nine of Cups. You have beautiful cards. You do. <laughs> you do. And you'll be like, oh, but that Three of Swords, we will talk about it, honey. Because that also belongs into this world, you know. That is also an experience that we need to experience so we know what we really want. Because just imagine the love that you had, your first love. How in love you was with that person. Can you see yourself yet still with that person? <laughs> Now, with your, with your big age, you have, you have the emperor underneath the deck. So, you have... Um, 
let's put this nicely for you and then we will talk about it but yeah just imagine you'll be like oh no that's my love forever you know how often we have screamed that with our first love be like no i will forever i will marry him or i will marry her 10 years later it's like 20 years later 30 years later oh my god i remember i gave a a, a, a boy or a girl in in third grade a candy ring and that person i wanted to marry and look at me now <laughs> you know so it's totally different maybe it's reality for you so yeah look at that this beautifulness of all these higher kenna so you have the ten of cups beautiful the knight of the knight of swords i said the king of swords but it's the knight of swords you have the ten of pentacles you have the chariot you have the three of swords you have the page of cups you have the nine of cups you have the strength card and you have the four of swords honey it's like you, this is your life it's going like this is your life honey it's all an experience it's all it all is and here's the thing this chariot speaks so much value volume uh, so loud you know because if you look at how you know um this this you may be been or are surrounded with beautiful people that really uh, maybe isn't the family that you've been brought up in but for some it is the family that you've been brought up in that you be like i i am i am liking my family you know not liking as in you know you need to agree with everything that they say but more as in you are proud to be a part of that family you know there's nothing wrong with it oftentimes people want to bound uh, um, um, want to connect with trauma so it's an example no I, I no my family was the worst no my family was the worst honey you don't hear people say honey my family was the best you don't hear that at uh, that often so i don't want to dismiss that situation because if i see it i will say it you know so Maybe you haven't have a great family, but the people you surround it, uh, that you surround yourself with are as a family towards you. You know, you feel they are your family. Um, it's really giving that um, what I'm getting for you, that how the universe sees you is also that you know that everybody is different. You know that everybody has their own thing and you, you understand the differences of people and now i don't i don't know if you are um, a part of the lgbtq community but i'm con that is the thing that i'm really continue seeing that it is something of you know uniqueness that you understand everybody's uniqueness and because you understand everybody's uniqueness you find beauty in everything even the things that are painful because you see them as a lesson now you don't have to be from the LGBT community to understand that this message is like you understand that whatever that the creation looking at a, a deity expands your consciousness whatever the creation is it's all a part it's all belong you know and you take what you need for the moment you don't take the baggage forever you take what only makes you happy you see it as memories memories of beautiful things you don't stick around like yes you may stick around with the people but you leave a certain mark of emotions and feelings on people's heart and that's the thing and that is why your connections are real real not to say that other people's connections aren't real but your connection is more as in understanding and not trying to change that other person so the universe be like oh you see that i am in everything aditi i am everything i am am so it's really giving that because yes you may not agree with certain people but you respect the journey that they are on you understand that okay i can vibe with the people the energy that is actually for me but if i come or encounter people that hurt me i will understand okay that is their journey 
I understand it respectfully. I'll continue moving on kind of a way. I take the lesson because, hey, there is a lesson in this also for me. You not only see it as, oh, that person need to learn. No, you see it like, hey, I also have encountered this situation. I also have accepted this situation, this energy, meaning that this energy must be also within me. You know, so you understand then like, okay, so there is a lesson in this where I am right now that I need to learn. Now, I do see that you are building a beautiful community emotionally and Um, um, physically like really you have people that you be like this is what I want to actually you know be my foundation this is mine the thing that I want to leave behind mine my footprint here on this world the lessons that you have to give the lessons that you have learned and the lessons that you are going to teach other people and it isn't it isn't you that here's the thing you are not trying to tell people that life is simple but you are trying to tell people because i've really seen it with all these beautiful cars and you know what what i really like there are lots of bad cars in the tarot a lot and for every pal the lesson is really beautiful <laughs> a lot everybody had beautiful cars and only one bad car that is as an example you know so i know i know that my tribe on patreon you guys are the realest yeah you guys have a beautiful soul but back to your reading because i really see that um in in this lifetime in this lifetime whatever you want to um leave behind is actually that when when the time is there that people can be like yes i have learned a lot from pile three yes i have felt beautiful emotions and feelings from pile three you know so it's really giving i have i have um i have gotten a security I felt protected you know I have gotten wisdom but I also have gotten how to be strong because you you understand the difference of people and I like that I love that that not to say that other people don't but you understand that everybody is unique unique is definitely a thing when it comes to you and maybe that is why i'm getting the lgb lgbtq community because it's 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 a it's a uniqueness but yet still even if they are unique they are giving your guys your spiritual team is saying the universe saying everybody's unique and everybody is me everybody is creation and you have respect for it And that's the thing that they like and love. Oh my God. I did not see the cards, honey. Co-create. Co-create. This is you. This is really you. And also building blocks. You, I don't know if you want to have children or if you have children or you are going to adopt children or pets. I don't know. Or you are going to whatever you are leaving behind. Let's just say it like that. Whatever you are leaving behind here on this earth, when your time has passed, you know, your, 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 um, your, how do you say your footprint, not your footprint, but your legacy, your legacy will be in not only your family but everybody you have affected on this earth everybody everybody because without you knowing you are creating you are creating you are affecting oh don't listen to my tummy my tummy is an extra nowadays on on the readings yeah you have you are co-creating and creating new ways Oh, wait a minute. I'm hearing a song. And I'm trying to decipher the song. <laughs> the new renaissance. Hey, hey. New renaissance. Hey. I don't know, but that is also, that is uh, a playlist I have. High vibration play playlist on Spotify. If you guys want me to share it with you guys, let me know. <laughs> I will. But that is, um, that is a song on it. And uh, this young man is singing new renaissance a a new renaissance and and 
um but i don't know the song i don't know the song but maybe that has a has a meaning for you so let's see what it is that you need to know more so you have longing for home belonging the original light worker min mintakan mintakan honey you may have felt that way or you may still feel that way but i'm really getting that now you have you have understand that this is a journey this is a this is a, a thing that you are going through a life that you are going through doesn't mean that you are sticking here you are here to bring the lessons of who you are the, as a light worker on this world so that is why you are not taking punishments or painful situation as a punishment because you understand that it's a journey and if you don't get the punishments if you don't get the tough lessons you are not elevating so that is why you guys are a light worker i see it definitely indeed you know that is why you are not you are looking for the happy place you are enlightened other people and you are enlightened yourself in this situation meditation is maybe really something for you whatever however you you see meditation because you know meditation is also walking in nature you know for me i i, I meditate sitting but i also meditate like i really like i really like walking <laughs> i really like walking in nature <laughs> you know i don't know if you guys are also like that but that is really calming i'm i'm really connected with the <laughs> when i'm in nature and i'll be like oh delicious delicioso ah <laughs> so yeah i i i don't know maybe you two have that thing but yeah you have divine flow eventual uh, eventually one sublime desire takes precedence over all others the follow uh, uh, to follow the tao the divine flow at all costs actually one sublime desires takes pre precedence over all others to follow the flow to follow to follow the tao the divine flow at all costs divine flow yes Oh, one moment please the battery so yeah i'm sorry the battery so yeah um divine flow hmm yes i see that i can see that that's that's what we've been talking about the whole time that's your dharma so i get that the tao yeah that's really you exactly because you where where you have heartache and pains you turn around and make all this beautifulness the after it you know because this is you if you have b what i'm trying to say is with the divine flow see it as a stream you don't go against the stream you do not you go to your dharma and you understand that if you come across a karma that can be karma can be good or bad if the karma is bad you know that it is a lesson of life so you understand that okay i've learned this and if i don't learn this i continue having that struggle i continue bumping my head in that cycle because everything is a cycle in life and you learn it so fast and then you go further with your divine flow you go further with your um how do you say it with your dharma i like that I really like that. So let's see your last card. What you need to know. What the uh, what the universe wants to let you know. You have oh you have Sita. Oh let's 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 read about it. One moment. So you have Sita. Let's see Sita. Um, goddess Sita. Her mantra is Sita Ram um let's see what it says about us uh goddess of devotion and loyalty 
You have devoted your entire self to a person or project and your loyalty cannot be questioned. Even in the face of harsh uh, treatment you have endured in the name of love. S that's exactly it. <laughs> So, um, Sita remained loyal to her husband Ram, despite being told he was dead and when another king wanted to marry her. When her husband returned, he did not believe her infidelity. She said, uh, he did not believe her fidelity. She said, if I am telling the truth, I will jump into, into this fire and will not be burned. She stepped into the fire, uh, un, uh, into the fire, untouched, proving that she was indeed loyal. Sita understands how much you truly care, uh, how much you truly care and the sacrifices you have made. You have di displayed selfless the uh, division which is one of the most holy things we can do in serving to uh, those you love you serve the divine okay i will put it up for you you have sita this is the message i do hope you guys can uh, see it well so yeah my love this is definitely you ex especially in the part that you know the lessons that you see it as you know um, um, the things that people are doing wrong that you see it as love as we've been talking about that you don't you don't see them people as you know they are wrong you see it as a lesson in life you know I love it um, also I want to mention you have two hindu goddess you have aditi and sita beautiful beautiful goddess so yeah i do hope i could have helped you if you want to let me know if you want not me if you want to let other people know that you guys on what on which vibe you are put up a, um, an owl and a, a, a leopard you know co-create um so yeah put an owl and a leopard so that uh, the people that also chose Pal three can uh, see or know that you guys are vibing on the same vibration that being said i thank you for your time and i'm really thankful that you guys are here with me and i wish you nothing but the best then i have a beautiful wonderful day okay my love bye, -bye.